ให้เสียงมันออกเลยWelcome to the College of Management at Maidon University. So this is a surprise to all of you. We do this live today for a special reason, and um, it is truly special for us here to um, be able to uh, have a guest to visit us. And uh, as I mentioned to some of you yesterday, that um, today we need to discuss an important project called SpaceX. What is it? Well, some of you may question. And some of you might hear of the project before. Well, we'll spend the next 30 minutes with you, um, particular student at Mahidon University or those who are interested in food industry. But first of all, please allow me to welcome Dr. Lalana j i r a s a n u k i t uh, the Open Innovator Leader from uh, Space F. Yes, Hello. Hello. Welcome to CMU, Dr. Thank Lana. Thank you very much, Dr. Natawood. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here, and in fact, um, we have known each other for such a long time. Yes. And it's great to be back here in Thailand and and uh, get to work with Lana again. Well, um, the topic that um, it is it's in our heart. It's about food industry. Yes. Uh, we both know that this industry is tremendous. It has contributed um, to at least 20% of uh, the, our national GDP, yes. and it's going to grow. Yes. One point, Lana, I learned is uh, from from the business and from the technological point of view that um, we need to support um, the new way of thinking in this industry. So, could you tell us more about the project? Uh, what is Space F and and uh, its relationship with the the future of food industry in Thailand? Okay, please. so Space F. What do you think space f is? A lot of people think, oh, space. Are you going to take me out of space? <laughs> of course. Well, no. Space is area, right? Area for f is food. Food. So an area for food tech startups right. to come together and also learn from each other and share their experiences because. Uh, you know, when you're working in an ecosystem, you need to be able to learn from your peers, and also you can test your concepts and things. 
uh, you know, with each other and see whether your product will be suitable to the uh, consumers. So this is the um, main goal of SpaceF is to have you know, the food scientists together and then they can help each other and learn from each other as well and also grow their business. So that's why uh, we set up um, SpaceF. Wow, so the space in this sense, I think it has a lot of profound meaning to me because it's not a space as in physical space, but it also contains knowledge, expertise, social network, as well as opportunities. Yeah, and so um, mm -hmm. SpaceF is actually the first global food tech incubator and accelerator here in Thailand. So both incubators and accelerators are together and then um, you know, they learn and grow their business here with the help of the co-founders and also the corporate partners as well. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm pretty sure that we have um, information uh, to share with you. Yeah. Uh, from, from the screen, if you look at um, the audience uh, from wherever you are in the world, um, we'd like to, um, again, um, focus with you that today we are going to focus on a very important and interesting project called SpaceF. Now, come to the mission of the project. Okay, yes, so the mission of the uh, SpaceF program is we want to support outstanding food tech entrepreneurs so that they can establish a strong and sustainable business and that creates a positive impact to the world because, um, you know, with um, uh, global warming, with sustainability, we want uh, the businesses to uh, gear to that direction and also we want uh, young entrepreneurs to become successful in their business world as well. So that's our mission. Oh, Kundalana, I think this is very, very timely to um, the uh, current situation in the world. And I'm glad to hear someone from, from the education sector. I'm, I'm pleased to hear that you talk about the uh, concept of strong and sustainable business. And we are now facing this tough time Yes. with the, the current situation. That's right, mm. and with the COVID-19 situation, yes. we can see that the global economy, you know, is being affected quite a lot. And I think with food, you can't go wrong because Absolutely. people have to eat, right? Mm. And innovation in food is very important because you have to find new ways of producing food that is healthy for the consumers so that they can um, you know, prepare to fight all the diseases yes. and everything. Mm. And also with sustainability as well, you need to be able to grow the food products so that it's available at all times at a reasonable cost uh, for the consumers as well. So I think food tech has a lot to play uh, in the you know, global arena now, especially right. during these times of COVID as well. It, yeah. is, it is relevant and such a progressive idea. Well. Um, you, you mentioned that um, uh, the concept of Space F is about um, um, technology or um, those who are interested in setting up business, new business related to food. Can you tell us more about um, the ecosystem of um, this? Yeah, industry? okay. So when we talk about startups, mm. you know, especially in Thailand, when we talk about startups, there's a lot of startups sure. you know, happening. And I think every year there are more and more uh, startups being formed. But it's mainly in fintech or travel tech or other areas. Right. But because the Thai government is promoting promoting Thailand as the kitchen of the world, kitchen of the world, we it's expect <laughs> that there should be more food tech startups mm. around. But unfortunately, there's only just quite a few. So we want to grow that um, area. And because Thai Union is a global player in the food industry, we want to help the younger entrepreneurs and also the new um, startups to be able to grow and, became, uh, and become more sustainable right. in the food industry. So uh, that's why we've you know, jumped into um, the Space F program and formed a triple helix collaboration to form the uh, Space F program to help these um, food tech startups. Excellent. Bro. Well, as um, someone who works at uh, the College of Management myself, we also have the uh, master program in uh, food business management. And similar, exactly as what you said, uh, Dr. Lalana, a lot of young Thai entrepreneur or food entrepreneur, they want to uh, uh, go stronger and fast internationally in particular. But there's certain limitation 
part of that is technology, as you mentioned. Yes. And um, there's some barriers that, that stop them to go outside uh, the Thai uh, market. That's right. So I think to be a sustainable food business, you need technology right. as a backbone mm. uh, in your business because it should be a business that is hard to copy, right? Absolutely. It's more difficult to copy. And if you have technology behind it, if you have IP behind it, then it's harder for other people to jump in um, to, to copy your your business. So that's why we've ha we've got this um, SpaceSafe program accepting startups that are using deep tech. Uh, and uh, this was the idea at first as well. When the co-founders, you know, we came together, um, Thai Union, NIA and Mahidol University, mm -hmm. we are forming a triple helix collaboration. Mm -hmm. So uh, Thai Union as a public um, company, company. Mm -hmm. and also the um, Mahidon as the university leg and also NIA as the government. Right. So, you know, the three partners come together and we form this triple helix collaboration mm -hmm. um, to um, form the SpaceF program. And we actually ran it um, a year already right. and it's become a lot of success. Our cohort one from the SpaceF accelerators have already graduated um, earlier uh, in March this year and they're doing very well now. They're getting a lot of um, interest from uh, potential investors and also um, customers as well. So we thought, well, for batch two, we want to make it even bigger and better. Mm. And we are very fortunate to have Thai Bev as a global player in the food and beverage um, uh, arena as well to join us and to help our batch two startups, you know, grow their business and test their uh, proof of concept and things like that. And we also have Better Grow as well mm. as a supporting partner and also Deloitte as a supporting partner as well. So Better Grow will uh, help the startups as well with um, the proof of concept, mm. with um, MVP and Deloitte will help with the knowledge because mm. Deloitte is, you know, the big one of the big four um, firms, consulting firms, and they sure. can um, provide their guest speakers and their um, personal um, coaches mm. and, you know, very expert people to help our startups mm. as well. I see SpaceX is truly um, a pioneer in, um, in the food industry in Thailand and uh, it's a great collaboration among partners from different sectors, Dr. Lalana. Well, um, I understand that to be able or to be eligible to enter into this program, it has to be certain uh, steps, right? Uh, can you tell us more what actually uh, consists in the program and, and, and how can I be uh, sure that uh, some of my friends or myself or my students will be eligible for the program? Okay, good. So uh, with the SpaceF program, we have two tracks. We have the incubator track and the accelerator track. Mm. So the incubator track is for the beginners. You know, they have a great idea, a very innovative idea. Um, they come into SpaceF and they work on their minimum viable product, uh, develop their minimum viable product, and um, you know, during the course of the program, um, they are here for nine months. For nine months? Yeah, oh. the incubator. And they can, throughout the time, they can incorporate their business. Right. Uh -huh, mm. And they can do market tests to make sure that, okay, uh, their idea or their product, you know, has, has um, interest in right. the market. And then they can identify their market segments. Uh, so this is like physically doing it, not mm. just you know, learning in a classroom, but uh, you it's get more your, your hands and, dirty. And, yeah, yeah, and actually proving that your concept will work. And then um, they prepare their business plan and their uh, business milestones. Mm. Yeah. And also at the end of the incubator program, then they have to prepare for fundraising. So right. we have investors, you know, VCs and CVCs at the demo day uh, that we will have for them, and then uh, they could get investment in so, their mm. work so it's a good start especially Absolutely. for now you know if you, you're not working in a full-time job mm. 
then you know you can do this and enter the incubation program sure. and you can come out with a viable business you know, a sustainable uh, business to get you uh, started right uh -huh. but so with can, can you can I ask if you are let's say a final year university students and you have wonderful idea from a team uh, would you be eligible for apply for it or do you have to be a business person to no, I mean you can have um, a business person or you can have a final year student and within your team you may have someone that is already a business person so Wonderful. within your team you may have like three to four uh, co-founders right right and uh, you may be a student but your co-founder may not be and um, you know you can have different expertise for example uh, if you're in marketing your co-founder may be a food scientist, nah. another co-founder may be uh, in finance or something. So it's good to have a uh, diverse, diverse team, team. Mm -hmm. so then so you can good. have the expertise in each area uh, to help the business get along. Yeah, and for the second track is the accelerator track. The accelerator track is a four month, uh, four months program, mm -hmm. and this is more advanced. Like you should already have maybe a business already but if not you can you know incorporate the business uh, during the course of the accelerator program mm -hmm. and you will do the proof of concept testing uh, do pilot tests with the corporate partners and with the market to make sure that okay your your idea or your product is actually something that the market needs and sure. there'll be customers willing to uh, buy your products and then you can do the um, you know, product re registration and then do the product launch uh, mm. during this time. And then you can even start scaling, scaling up Scale your up. business. Mm. Yeah? So you might start um, from lab work, then you start building a factory or something like that. Mm. Yeah? So scaling up your business and then um, you'll have initial traction mm. or you can improve your uh, sales traction as well get more customers and by the end then you get um, pitching for investment from mm. VCs or CVCs at the demo day like our batch one you know they pitched in the demo day and they got many uh, interests from uh, the VCs oh well. wow yeah. so by the end of both programs both incubator and accelerator programs then um, it is likely that um, the participant or each team will be able to have a firm product or idea that potentially get funded by VC and run the business. Yes, yes. And so that, that is the ultimate goal. But then right. while you're in the SpaceX program, we have incubators and accelerators in the one place. Mm. So they are learning from each other during that time as well. Mm. Right. So uh, the incubators are learning from the Big brothers, you know, the, <laughs> the accelerators. And at the same time, the accelerators can talk to the incubators and then learn what they want in a product as a customer. So it's more of an exchange of ideas and you're working together in an ecosystem. So mm. that, that is you know, one of the most important goals, apart from the startups uh, graduating and, and getting invested. But right. you get the learning experience. Okay? Sure. And I can confirm this point to um, the audience that um, um, the environment, the ambience of Space F itself, the, shall I call it um, a lab? Because um, I went to um, the headquarters of the, the program in, yeah. um, at the Faculty of Science uh, of Mahidon University. And once you walk into it, you feel that positive vibe into yeah, the place, yes. learning and exchange yes. among participants. It's the ecosystem that's important. Absolutely. I mean, you go in there and you, you know, share ideas and you learn from one another. Mm. So that's very important in good. the Space F program. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, um, I think what the, um, the audience uh, might need to know more is um, about, so what's in it for me? What kind yeah. of benefit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Space F program, you know, as I said, it offers more than just the funding money that we uh, we call it the non-equity uh, fund that we give to the startups. So when they are selected into the program, 
the accelerator teams get 400,000 baht. Wow. Yeah, we, um, with no equity taken. Mm. And the incubator teams get 250,000 baht. That's if you're in the um, batch in person. Right. So hopefully COVID will be gone by then in Thailand yeah. and then you can be at Space F you know, fully in person and you'll just get that grant. Mm. Uh -huh. And apart from the money, then you get a lot of support, you know, within the program. You get support from the co-founders. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, at Space F, um, we have lab equipment. We have um, many labs. We have co-working space, meeting rooms, and we also have a pilot plan wow. that um, startups can use to develop uh, their products Product. mm -hmm. and also you can uh, also try and see if you can work in the premises of the partners and co-founders mm -hmm. as well uh -huh. and then you get the mentoring right so you get the mentoring from the co-founders from CMMU of right. course <laughs> from the professors in Mahidon University from corporate partners and co-founders you know we will coach and we have many interesting guest speakers mm. you know globally uh -huh. and um, so you'll be fed with a lot of information a lot of uh, coaching of how uh, you can run your business successfully mm. Mm. and then we have a lot of external mentors as well that we will assign to each of the startups because each startup needs different areas of expertise different types of mentors so we will see which startups need what and who mm. right so that um, they get the most benefit out of the program and, and yeah. then uh, the activities that you would do in the uh, space safe program is okay you have one-on-one -on -one, um, discussions um, online and offline you have classes you know by uh, Mahidon by Thai Union Academy and also Deloitte. by Deloitte wow. as well mm. uh -huh. and the most important thing is networking mm. so we will have a lot of networking sessions where you can mingle and then you can network with people in the industry uh, both corporates as well as uh, investors as mm. well uh -huh. and also exposure is very important as a startup if you're alone you know a standalone startup you don't get the exposure and people don't know that you exist but if you are part of the SpaceX program then you will get a lot of exposure because mm. we will you know try to PR uh, you in you I, know, can, I can see that from from bash one that um, the participants and the project from um, SpaceX from day one to the end of the project uh, has been well featured in, in main, um, mainstream media as yeah. well as um, uh, social media which is great Mm -hmm. um, I, I also like the fact that you talk about um, the, uh, the way that um, all um, co-founders try to empower the participants. Mm -hmm. And uh, from, from my point of view as um, um, someone from uh, College of Management from, from uh, business school, I really like the idea that you try to uh, bring uh, experience from the industry. Yes from different industry, not only, it doesn't have to be only from food, yeah. but to equip the participant with the, the real world, That's the right. well-rounded knowledge That's and experience. That's right, because, yeah. okay, if we're talking in the university context, you know, in the classroom, you're learning a lot of what you should do. Mm. But sometimes the learning of what you should do doesn't happen in real life. Absolutely. Right? So you have to uh, be able to be flexible, be agile, and also adapt to the real world. So I think, I think it gives the uh, participants very good hands-on experience of how to run a business because when you're doing the business plan in the computer, sometimes <laughs> it doesn't turn it's out like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, it's so. there. Once it's there, it's in the ivory tower. You can't implement yeah, it into the right. marketplace. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. And you know, we will guide you. Wow. Of how to do the business plan correctly, whether what you've um, drafted up may not be applicable in real life, it should be this and that, so we have experts to Excellent. help you along the way. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm interested more in the focus for this round, because um, I'm pretty sure that um, um, this project must have certain focus 
to uh, extract the expertise from each team. What are they for yeah. this round? Please? So, uh, in order to apply for the Space F program uh, for Batch 2, we have nine focus sectors wow. in total, which is really broad because, I mean, as long as you're doing something to do with food, you can fit it into one of the nine uh, focus areas. And uh, these focus areas are important focus areas. Um, for example, with health and wellness, everyone is caring about their health now, mm. especially with COVID-19, right? <laughs> We're trying to like do preventive um, measures to make ourselves healthy mm. so that we um, have strong immunity. Mm. So uh, health foods are, are becoming more and more popular, mm -hmm. but the health foods should be able to um, be brought easily, not just only high-priced mm. health foods. Mm. So, you know, I think innovation uh, plays a big role in providing healthy food products at a reasonable price, right? So health and wellness is one of the main um, focus sectors. And then we have alternative proteins. Alternative proteins, uh, people are eating less meat due to sustainability yes. and you know, many other reasons. Um, mm. So alternative proteins is a big topic at the it moment is, as well, yes. you know, mm. with plant-based and even with the cell-based uh, meats and all that. Uh -huh. And then we have smart manufacturing. Smart manufacturing, actually, in Thailand nowadays, it's quite hard to get uh, labor uh, workers in the factory. I don't know where Thai people have gone, I know. but um, it's, it's very hard. You know? <laughs> I see a lot of factories have um, the job application um, banners in front of the But nobody factories. apply for yeah. it. Yeah, mm. and it's there all year round. Right. So I think we need automation, uh, you know, in place for manufacturing. And also that gives more accuracy as well, you know, robotics mm. and more, um, in the long run, it saves costs mm. as well. Yep. Efficiency. That's Efficiency, yes, mm. yes yeah and also uh, packaging solutions. So packaging solution, are there you know, new packaging that's biodegradable, recyclable, and even convenient, mm. you know, addressing the uh, point of convenience for the consumers. Uh -huh. And then novel food and ingredients. As I said, Thailand, we have abundant raw materials. So mm. we should have uh, you know, novel, novel food, food and ingredients mm. uh, to use these uh, you know, raw materials that we have. Uh -huh. And then we um, have another topic called biotechnology and mm, biochemicals. Right. And Mahidon University Faculty of Science, you know, has a very strong um, knowledge yes, uh -huh, in, in biotechnology. Mm. Yeah. So uh, welcome, you know, the biotechnology students from Mahidon University or any other I mean, universities right. yeah, to apply. And restaurant tech. We're not looking for like delivery applications no, only. It's already you know, there. Right? Yeah. yeah, so because there's many uh, de delivery applications around, but we're looking into more uh, that benefits consumers as well, mm. as well as benefits to the restaurant. Right. Uh -huh. And also food safety, very important. It's very important. Because, you know, cleanliness, um, uh, food safety, if people eat your product and something goes wrong with them, mm. then that's done for your brand, you know, your brand killed overnight. Mm. So food safety is very important. And so if you have any um, quality test kits that are rapid and using new technology, mm. you know, that's welcomed as well. And the last one is smart food smart services. Food services. So these nine focus sectors actually cover everything within the food mm. industry anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. I can see, Dr. Lalana, I can see the, the inter, the correlation or interrelation among the nine um, focus in the sense that um, in this project for this batch, um, we are talking about uh, using idea and uh, insert innovation to transform that idea to reach the point of um, uh, equality in good food and good health. Yes. For everyone, as you mentioned, that uh, food has such an important role in our life, yes. not just um, to uh, make you feel healthy, physically, but also mentally, yes. social aspect of yes. that, science aspect of that. Yes. Mm. So, like, even now, you know, when you go to restaurant, it's not just eating for the body. You know, when you go to restaurants, there's many themes, 
you know, people take pictures. So it's for the mind as well, right. right? To make you feel relaxed in the restaurant, in that atmosphere. So it's food is just it's not just for the body; it's for mm. the mind. It's for how you think. It's a story behind the food mm. and the products and the technology as well. So I think it it really broadens the. Uh, food industry um, way of thinking. Yeah, so I encourage you know uh, everyone to apply for the program. Uh, you can go to our uh, website, World Wide Web. dot space dash f. co. Okay. Yeah, so, dot co. Yep. Yeah, so please um, come into our website and then you can apply through there. So we. I'm looking forward to receiving the applications. Um, actually, the applications closed on the 12th of July. Okay. But, yeah, but because we got so many people interested and asked for asked for extension, so we've decided to extend the application period to the end of July. So you still got nearly two weeks. So please hurry and apply. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know uh, the deadline is there. The two programs, incubator and accelerator, and you know which level and how how long you need to spend into the program, and what is your expectation. I think um, today um, Dr. Lalana has covered um, the basic of Space F, and I think this is going to uh, inspire um, each of you who listen to this live. And um, if you think you have that wonderful idea to promote um, your food industry in, from from national into global level, I think, come for it, please. Um, the application and, and the process itself is, is it's not, not so complicated yeah, at all. Yeah, it's very simple. As long as you have you know, your pitch deck and your um, idea, you know, just fill in the application form in the website, and then you're done. So please you know, quickly um, apply, and then we hope to see you in batch two of SpaceX. Thank you very much, Dr. Lana, for your time today and um, for being with us at uh, the College of Management at Mahidon. And uh, on behalf of the college, I, I look forward to working with you on this very important project. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for Thank your time. Thank you very much. Sadika. I look forward to working with you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your watching, and um, I'll see you at the next live. Don't forget to apply for this project, please. Bye for now. Thank you. ขอบคุณครับโอเคไหมโอเคมากเลยฮะเวลาเป๊ะมากเลยฮะเวลาได้เลย